So at the start of the movie, we are shown a couple who wanted a baby. For this, they were very excited. The scene changes and we are shown the time a few months later. Here, the wife whose name was Madeline was pregnant and had a few days left to deliver the baby. Here, we learn a lot about these people. Madeline used to take some medicines for fertility because she was having some difficulties in pregnancy. Here, we also learn that her mother-in-law's behavior was not good with her. This was because she wanted Madeline to be in my control. But Madeline did not want this at all. She hated her a lot and said that the doctor I am getting you to meet, you meet him. But Madeline did not like that doctor at all. Because they were not taking her situation seriously. So they both decide that we will not go to a hospital for this. Instead, we will contact a midwife. There, midwives were also considered as healthcare specialists. That is, they were kept to take care of pregnant ladies. But professionally, they are not doctors. Madeline's mother-in-law did not like this at all. She tells her that this is a serious situation, so you should go to the hospital. But still she hires a midwife. Her husband also tells her to think a little. But Madeline explains to her that nothing happens. That midwife also tells her that you are not worried. I am very professional in this work and you will not have any problem. And the baby will come fine. She also had a cat at home. But she used to hunt a lot of rats. She did not like this at all. Because they used to give her good food. One day after dinner, Madeline's chest started hurting. Her husband gets worried and brings her to the hospital. The doctor who deals with her is her mother-in-law's acquaintance. And Madeline does not like him at all. And surprisingly, her husband also does not like him. They both refuse to get their treatment done. But he does not listen. Here her husband calls that midwife. Here we also find out that Madeline's mother-in-law hated her so much that she could have killed her. Madeline knew this, so she stayed away from her. Anyway, after her husband's call, she comes to the hospital and tells the doctor that she is her patient. So kindly no one should treat her. At night, Madeline and her husband are going home. And when they are driving, they suddenly have an accident. Here it was very shocking that Madeline's husband died at the same time. Here Madeline also has a lot of blood loss. And she is very injured. She does not understand how this can happen. She calls the midwife who was dealing with her. She brings her home. But here it is shown that she is not able to treat her properly. It was necessary to take her to the hospital here. Because she was getting worse. But what could have been done? Because Madeline herself did not want to go to the hospital. That midwife had all the knowledge. So she had found out that Madeline's baby had also died in that accident. But Madeline did not know this. And she was living with a dead baby. But that midwife hides this from Madeline. That she had already been happy after a long time. And now she had lost her husband too. Now there were only a few days left for the baby to come. Madeline wanted her to see her baby with her own eyes. The scene changes and we are shown that the baby comes from a lot of difficulties. And Madeline is in a lot of pain. The baby was already dead. The midwife starts crying. Madeline picks up her baby in her arms. And repeatedly tells her to come back. And here a miracle happens. The baby comes alive. It was impossible, which the midwife is very surprised about. Madeline smiles at her baby and names the baby Grace. That midwife knew that the baby was dead for a long time. So she did not feel good about this. That's why she herself tells Madeline that she should go to the hospital. She tells her to get her and the baby tested. Madeline does not agree and neither does she ask her mother-in-law for help. Now the story is shown a few months later where Madeline was living in her house and raising Grace. On the other side, we see her mother-in-law, that is her husband's mother, who was very upset and sad after losing her son. She had more hatred for Madeline in her heart. She was very weird. After losing her son, she was mentally very upset. 
That's why she also wanted to raise a child. And obviously she wanted to bring her granddaughter to her. Her mind was deeply affected. And she tries a lot to get her granddaughter. On the other side, Madeline is shown. Who was very mentally weak. In the second scene, we see that she is brushing Grace's hair. But she is very lost. And a lot of Grace's hair breaks on the hairbrush. Because of which Grace's head is injured. When she is bathing Grace. Even then she injures her there. Now here we notice a strange thing. That around Grace, there were flies all the time. Madeline felt very bad seeing this. And that fly also goes into Grace's nose. The next day, Madeline puts a net around Grace. So that the flies can't go to her. But shockingly, the flies were still coming around her. And she was only getting attracted to her. The next day, Madeline also closes the windows. Even seals it. Grace's behavior was very strange. That means she does breastfeeding. But she couldn't digest milk. She always took the milk out. Madeline was very worried about Grace. Because she hadn't drunk milk for the last few days, Madeline had an assistant, to whom she used to give messages to take her to the midwife. Because now Madeline had only that friend. But the midwife couldn't help her. Because Madeline's assistant wasn't conveying those messages to her. On the other hand, we see Madeline's mother-in-law, who was planning to take her granddaughter from her. Now Madeline was afraid. That if she goes to the hospital, then the doctors will take away her daughter, Grace. Because of this fear, she stayed at home all day and night. After a while, when she was feeding her daughter, Grace, she noticed that Grace was injuring herself instead of drinking milk. And she was drinking blood. Madeline noticed this. But she ignored it. Because she loved her daughter very much. She didn't want to lose her. That's why she let her injure herself. But here she had a doubt. That Grace was not behaving like normal children. And her hunger wasn't over with milk. But she was getting blood. And her stomach was full after drinking blood. And she let her injure herself for her love. After this, we notice that Grace starts to smell very strange. Although, Madeline bathed her many times. But that bad smell didn't go away. And the flies didn't go away from her. The next day when Madeline was in the market, she noticed raw meat. She thought that Grace was drinking blood. So she thought that why not take this meat? And to satisfy Grace's hunger, she comes home and takes out all the blood from the meat and fills it in a feeder. But Grace does a strange thing here too. She can't digest the blood of animals and she starts vomiting again. Because of this, Madeline understands that Grace can only drink human blood. That child was getting sick without blood. Madeline couldn't tell this situation to anyone else. Because if anyone would have known this, they would have taken Grace in their custody. Or would have killed her. That night she notices that her pet cat. That means pet cat. Was bringing dead rats for Grace. She was feeling as if she too was realizing that Grace doesn't want blood. On the other hand, her mother-in-law is planning. That she will take her granddaughter from Madeline soon. She talks to a doctor for this. She says that you prove Madeline crazy. And this way, she will get the right to keep her granddaughter with her. Now slowly, Madeline started getting weak. So weak that she could see things clearly. And her body parts were always moving. And she couldn't even walk properly. Next day, the same doctor comes to her house. Who was sent by her mother-in-law to prove Madeline crazy. And Madeline's condition was already such that she was looking like she was very sick. She herself asks for help from the doctor, but she doesn't tell her anything about Grace or her injuries. The doctor gives Madeline an injection. At that time, Grace starts crying, and the doctor hears her strange and scary voice. The doctor feels very weird hearing such a small girl's voice. And he goes to see Grace despite Madeline's refusal. Meanwhile, Madeline hits the doctor's head. And he falls down right there. Madeline immediately thinks that she can make the doctor's blood drink Grace. She cuts her body with a scissor. And fills the feeder with her blood. 
And that blood starts making Grace drink. When Mac. Here it is shown that Grace is drinking that blood with pleasure. Madeline hides the dead body of the doctor in the washroom. Now the situation was very bad. Madeline was very obsessed with her daughter, that is, she was crazy in love with her. On the other hand, her mother-in-law was preparing for her granddaughter. She had even made a baby room. And she also prepares milk for her. She was sure that her brain doctor would complete this task. And she will get her granddaughter. But after a long time, when the doctor does not come, she herself goes to Madeline's house. At that time, Madeline was busy hiding the doctor's dead body. And then she comes to her mother-in-law and picks up Grace and a hammer. When Madeline comes and sees, she finds out that Grace is not in her place. She sees her mother-in-law on the stairs, who was taking Grace away. Madeline requests her to give back my daughter. But she does not agree. She hits Madeline's head with a hammer. Because of which Madeline falls to the ground, but she does not die. And as soon as she comes near Madeline, Madeline cuts her throat. And with the same hammer, she tears her head. At the same time, her midwife also comes there. Because she was very worried about Madeline. She witnesses all this with her own eyes. Then in the ending scene of the movie, we see that the midwife is going somewhere in her trailer. With her was Madeline's cat and Madeline.